Hey, alles gut? Um, sorry, English? Oh, you're right? Yeah, fine. I usually never cry, but it's just that I lost my keys. Well, that's not the only reason why I'm crying, but I guess I just had a rough day. Um, are you here visiting Gloria? Oh, no, no, no. I think she moved away because that's my apartment now. Um, I just moved in a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'm Michael, by the way. I think I'm your new neighbor. I'm Holly. I'm sorry, I, I didn't notice you moved in. I've been really busy with work the past couple of weeks. Oh, that's fine. Um, hey... You want to come inside until your help arrives? Uh, it's freezing here. Yeah, why not? Go. Um, so, Holly, can I ask you, why did you have a rough day? Well, let's see. I just got fired today, even though I always work non-stop. My boyfriend broke up with me right before Christmas. I lost my keys and I'm drinking cheap wine. <laughs> Sorry for the wine. It's okay, at least it is wine. I really needed some alcohol after today. And I'm sorry for your job as a... Book editor. But my dream job was to become a published author someday. A writer? I wouldn't say so, but I just thought I, with this job I was actually going to become one. You still can. I spent literally three years working in that place non-stop, hoping that I could actually get my book into the hands of someone important. Instead now, I don't even have my job as an editor anymore. Maybe I've been trying too hard. Maybe I should just give up. No, you can't give up on a dream. What's the point anymore? My whole life is falling apart. Okay, this might sound really stupid, but... I promised myself I would never lose the magic of Christmas, ever. But this year is just so hard to see any magic around me at all. I get it. Um, I don't think I ever saw this magic you're talking about. I guess for me it was pretty easy. I grew up in a big loving family. We didn't have much, but Christmas used to be absolutely magical. Every year, my father, he would go pick up a tree with my brother and we would put lights and decorations in every corner of the house. It was so special. And this year, it's the 22nd of December and I don't even have a tree in my house. I see you also don't have one. Oh, um, I'm not really used to celebrating Christmas. Um, I had a bit different childhood. All I can remember from the holidays is fighting, really. I'm sorry. Maybe I should just stop talking about this. No, no. Go ahead. Christmas Eve. It used to be one of my favorite days of the year. After dinner, me and my whole family, we used to play like board games through the whole evening. And by midnight, we had to be in bed. I swear, one here, I heard the sleigh bells of Santa coming at midnight precisely. It was so special. But I kept my eyes closed. Traditions were very important. Do you still believe in Santa? Oh, um... I was around five or six 
when my parents told me Santa doesn't exist. And I was in my room singing a Christmas song loudly and they came in and told me, Michael, you're being too loud. Um, I guess you're old enough now, so there's no reason to lie for you anymore. Santa Claus doesn't exist and we're the ones putting the presents under the Christmas tree. That must have been traumatic. I don't even remember it that well anymore. I'm, I just know I got mad or upset and we never really celebrated Christmas anymore. I hate hearing starting like this. I remember the other day when I asked a kid what he wanted from Santa, he looked at me and he said, aren't you a bit too old to believe in Santa? <laughs> me? Too old? Maybe he's not wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So when me and my siblings started to find out about Santa, our parents told us that now it was time for us to become Santa ourselves. So that Christmas, we had to find something really special for someone less lucky than us to wrap it and donate it. That way, we felt actually so important because we could help Santa spread the Christmas spirit. <laughs> you have to know that Believing in Santa is not just believing in the bearded man dressed in red who brings presents through the chimney. He's all those people who still keep the traditions of Christmas alive. He does exist. <laughs> oh my gosh. Christmas is actually about spending time with the people you love. It is about the joy of giving to others. He teaches us to believe in our family, in our dream, in love. That is why I've been trying to keep these traditions alive. Yes? Oh! That is really helpful. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Bye. My landlord just arrived with a oh. pair of extra keys. I'm really sorry for bothering you all this time, but um, thank you for the talk and for the cheap wine as well. You want to stay and finish the bottle? Um, I should probably go, you know, but really, Thank you. All right then. All right. Bye. Right. decorate it or I don't know do you need to go to work oh I'm a freelancer I have, um, I have all the time but in fact I haven't decorated a Christmas tree in 20 years so what's the plan with here
it's beautiful. So, um, what are you doing tomorrow night? Um, nothing special. Um, well, I'm also alone, so if you want, we could um, stay together. Um, I don't know. I mean, just um, because we're both alone and I thought it's not good to spend the holidays um, alone, especially Christmas. Yeah, I guess. Um, well, it's, it's getting late and uh, I still have some work to do. I think I better get going. Michael, wait! Um, thank you for the tree. Today is December the 24th. It is Christmas Eve. Time to spend the holiday with your loved one. But don't forget to limit physical contact. Watch out for your elders and remember to wrap your gifts well. All the latest news of Christmas in the... Michael! Oh, wait. <laughs> I was just coming to wish you a Merry Christmas. Look, I have to apologize for yesterday. You were being so nice with me and I was kind of rude. <laughs> it's okay. No, you were right. People shouldn't be alone on Christmas. So, I made dinner for the both of us. Do you want to come inside and join me? <laughs> Only if you play board games like you did when you were a kid. It sounded like fun. <laughs> oh wow, you really made it look nice. Look, um, when I came earlier, I wanted to give you this. Look, Michael, I don't want you to give the wrong impression, but... Oh, just trust me, just take it. You know that I recently broke up with my ex-boyfriend and you are really sweet. But this may be too oh, early for me. Just shut up and take it. <laughs> What are you waiting for? You never open a present before midnight. I am serious about traditions. I told you. Right. Um, look, I know you just ended a serious relationship and I really am not trying to push anything here. I mean, don't get me wrong, you really are beautiful. But this is a gift as a friend. And also, this is the first Christmas I remember that I spent laughing and having fun and it's all thanks to you. It's midnight! <laughs> Did you draw this? Does it look 
illustrations. They're... They're just stunning. Look, may I ask you something? Sure. Would you be the writer for my children's book? What? Your story about believing in Santa inspired me to illustrate a book for when it's time to tell children Santa doesn't exist. To, uh, to tell them in the right way. But Santa does exist. Right, sorry. <laughs> the other night when you left, I started drawing what you told me and I, I couldn't stop. Then I realized how more perfect could this be? You're the writer and this is your story. And also this will be your opportunity to become a published author. So um, what do you say? I'm... I'm speechless. I really don't know what to say. This... This is the best gift someone has ever given to me. So, um, is that a yes? Now that I'm home and I'm getting a little bit older I'm not quite ready for moments like these to be over I don't mean to be selfish But when I look around I can't help it Maybe I don't wanna grow Cause I know I'd be missing too much Yes, I'm not If I spend Christmas in love